my channel. I thought it would be super fun to mix up a lot of paint and do a four cup flip cup paint pour on a large canvas. Have you ever paint poured on a large canvas before? I would love to hear about it. Please give this video a thumbs up and let me know how it went. I will add the links to the colors and supplies I am using in the description box below. I mixed all of my colors to a fluid consistency similar to warm honey. I did add a few drops of silicone oil into each color and I layered my paints as close to the same in each eight ounce cup. Towards the end, as you can see, I started running out of paint. I am using a scrap piece of chipboard to help me flip each cup onto the canvas. I put the chipboard on top of the cup, flip the cup, and then slid the cup off of the chipboard. Some paint did spill out, but that's okay. I cleaned the chipboard piece after each cup. After I cleared some space, I picked up each cup one by one and let the paint spill out. This is super fun. I am letting the cups rest a moment on the canvas to get as much paint as possible onto the canvas. Now, I am tilting the canvas slowly to cover the edges and the corners. When I tilt the paint, I will start to move the paint to one corner, then back to the center, then back to the other corner. I do vary this a little bit depending on how the design looks and how the paint is moving. It is important to go slow with this process and enjoy the motion of the paint moving. Don't focus on one area too much and do not have lasting expectations with the design. By embracing the fun, you are able to relax, enjoy your painting time, and detach from stress. I feel one of the best lessons acrylic paint pouring can teach us is to relax and let go. I find that if I'm painting while I am stressed or thinking negative thoughts, my art will reflect those emotions as well. If I am tense, and then I relax during the process, I can see the paint do the same because of the way I handle the paint. Do you see the beautiful cells? If I was angry or tense or unfocused when I was tilting the canvas, I would tilt too fast and stretch the cells and most likely be disappointed with my final result. Learning to let go during the process makes all the difference. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think. Thank you for painting with me and I'll see you in the next video.